Another update on last night's shocking news about the post race and what is probably could be the final update is that JGR will not appeal the penalties that have been handed to them after the race. So in case you were late, in case you missed it, after the race yesterday, after Denny Hamlin had supposedly won, Kyle Busch had finished second for a JGR 1-2. A couple hours later, after post-race inspection, it was revealed that both of those cars and teams were disqualified from the race for something illegal, something added on illegal about the front of the car, the front nose, the front splitter, something in the front of the car, the official term is front fascia, and it was illegal, something there wasn't right, and so they were disqualified, which meant the third place finisher on track was Chase Elliott. And he was declared the winner. We did a video on that yesterday. By the way, thank you so much to everyone. Either if you're subscribed, not subscribed, have been watching this channel forever, or you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for the support on that video. It means a lot. Great to see that you guys are liking it. Great to see all those people seeing it, interacting with it in the comments. Great to see. So thank you for that, by the way. That, like, it genuinely made my day. So thank you. Anyways, back to this video. Um... Yeah, so here is NASCAR has acknowledged it that the appeal is not happening uh, from Joe Gibbs Racing, which means either they're going to plead guilty or or they basically are saying, yeah, we were guilty, we did that, sorry, or they missed the deadline, which I doubt they missed the deadline. I think they kind of just said it's, it's either A, they're admitting they did it, or B, they don't want to mess around with it because it's very, very unlikely that it's going to get overturned. NASCAR in their inspection process, I think that's going to be a very, very specific, very down to the centimeter, millimeter detail. And I don't think NASCAR would mess up on their post-race inspection. And the only way I could see Joe Gibbs racing winning an appeal would have been if there was some loophole in the rules that Joe Gibbs Racing had figured out and they would say, hey, there's nothing in the rule book against this specific thing. And then NASCAR would have to say, okay, you win this time, we'll change the rule, but you guys do get to keep that win, we'll overturn it. So I feel like even if Joe Gibbs Racing did appeal, it would be extremely difficult to overturn just because of what happened, the severity of what happened. If this was like, you know, we've seen penalties overturned before, like a lug nut penalty back when there were five lug nuts and you had a loose lug nut. We've seen that overturned. Even recently, we saw Christopher Bell. They had been handed a suspension for the wheel going off the car. The crew chief, Adam Stevens, and some of the pit crew guys had been handed suspensions. Joe Gibbs Racing appealed, and they ended up overturning the suspension because they figured it wasn't a dangerous enough situation where the tire fell off. Uh, so they decided no suspensions and, you know, continue on. Whereas this is more of a severe thing. And, you know, as I said, NASCAR is going to be more tight knit with this kind of thing. So I feel like it would be more difficult to overturn. And so Joe Gibbs might just not want to screw with the whole process, waste a bunch of money on trying to fight it and a bunch of time putting people, distracting people basically. And they might just say, screw it. Okay, whatever we lose. As for harsher penalties, I don't know. The cars are going to the Research and Development Center. If there's a more severe penalty, I'll update you. I don't know if there's going to be, but Bob Parker said, uh, the, here's what he said about disqualifications. He said, on a race disqualification, it's typically noon Monday. That's the deadline for the appeal. But it is specified in the penalty notice issued to the teams so that they can change by NASCAR discretion. So, you know... Joe Gibbs Racing, when they were told about the disqualification, they were also told, hey, you're allowed to appeal the penalty that we have handed to you, but here is when you can you have to send a notice of appealing the penalty. Uh, you have to send it by this time. So if it was noon today, they had more than 12 hours to do it. Uh, but, you know, a lot of that is overnight. So they probably made their decision pretty fairly quickly. Um, I'm sure the crew chiefs, the car chiefs, whoever did whatever happened, they discussed it. They said, yeah, we did that, or mm, I don't know about that. And they discussed the higher-ups of Joe Gibbs Racing, the front office, whoever it may be, and they eventually came to the conclusion, A, we're not going to appeal, or B, let's just let it pass and you know, 
we missed the deadline. So what? We just don't want to screw around with this. So, um, yeah, Joe Gibbs Racing either saying, yeah, we did it, or B, we don't want to screw around with it. That's my guess. But, uh, yeah, that means the results of yesterday's race are now 100% official. Chase Elliott is the winner. Uh, Tyler Reddick second. Daniel Suarez third. Kyle Busch last, Denny Hamlin tied for last, I guess, uh, whatever the final results are. But, yeah, Ross Chastain is officially the winner of Stage 2, and that's about the biggest changes. But, yeah, I just wanted to provide you with an update on that. Any severe penalties or more severe penalties that could come out would be later this week. I think Tuesday is when the penalty – Tuesday or Wednesday is when the penalties get released, post-race penalties in terms of, you know – uh, any suspensions for a crew chief if the wheel gets loose, any R&D center penalties. So anything like that, if anything more severe were to come out of the Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin um, garage, then I would tell you by then. Um, there's, I, I would be a little bit surprised if a severe penalty came out of this, but if they truly did something that's very illegal and very against the rules then we'll see a penalty i there have i've seen people on the internet so you know take this don't take this like full like oh it's true like it's people on the internet just throwing things out there but if it were to be an l3 penalty it could potentially impact the playoffs uh either suspensions p banishment from the playoffs or if denny hamlin were to get the full points deduction that you can get from an l3 penalty denny hamlin would be out of the top 13 points but we're not going to talk about that we're not going to speculate that that is just a possibility it's i'd say it's unlikely for them to get an l3 unless they truly did something like insanely illegal which i mean they did something illegal enough to get kicked out of the race but i don't know if they did something illegal enough to get an l3 but uh thanks for watching once again very thankful for you know you guys watching that video both of the videos yesterday both are doing actually pretty good one of them's doing pretty good the other one's doing fantastic one of the most viewed videos on the channel so very thankful to everyone who was watching that and also watching this uh it truly does mean a lot it's always encouraging uh to see something like that on the channel know that you guys liked it and then to all the new subscribers we've gained a lot in the last 24 hours so thank you for that but as i said any news on any more penalties we'll talk about later um i'll you know, I'll make a video on that, but just want to talk about this, just kind of the appeal that is not happening that I thought was going to happen. Um, but Joe Gibbs Racing, they are not appealing. They're either pleading guilty or they are saying, we don't want to screw around with this. So yeah, results from yesterday are official. Thanks for watching again. Have a great rest of your day. We'll make a video later this week.